Hi, this is Jason Tromach, conservation specialist and certified wildlife biologist for Millbourne Seeds. I'm out here in uh, Millbourne's Brassica Blend. Uh, this was planted about a, about a month and a half ago now. Hasn't caught a lot of rain, but uh, it's kind of protected back here in a, an abandoned farm place area. The guy cleared out a little bit of trees and, and planted it's probably about a, a quarter acre of this Brassica Blend. And, uh, I just want to point out a few of the species in here. Um, the, the mix is mainly comprised of New Zealand hybrid brassicas, and the main two are being, uh, we do have, uh, this one is hunter brassica. You can see the, the big forage, is, these plants are more bred for forage production than uh, the big bulbs on the plant like you see with the turnip. So this one's a hunter brassica, and the other main one in this mix is actually, uh, it's called Winford brassica. Again, it's bred for its big forage production leaves. Um, the deer, these have extreme cold tolerance, probably down to like 22 degrees. So this is more your late season food plot. Um, you probably have to go about two or three hard frosts and the plants, the starch and the plants will turn to sugar and then the deer will just come here and hammer it. There is a little bit of turnips in some of your rape and traditional brassicas. So, but the main part of this mix is that Hunter and Winford brassica. Um, they're forage brassicas bred for, bred for forage production, not bulb, so this will be an extremely good late season food plot option. Again, this is Jason Trombach, conservation specialist and certified wildlife biologist for Millbourne Seeds.